Call the Blackhawk County Board of Supervisors meeting to order for November 21st, 2017. Roll call, Mr. Veter. Leland? Here. Little? Here. Schwartz? Here. White? Here. Magsman? Here. Take a moment of silence to reflect on actions. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> First item is the agenda received as proposed second. or amended. Um, I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carried. Uh, our next item is the recognition of the state champion Cedar Falls volleyball team. And I'd ask uh, Mr. Johnson to come forward and uh, to give us a little recap of your season and how well these young ladies performed. Uh, they're a pretty fun group of girls to be around. We've got 19 of them here, 11 seniors, and we finished the season, I think it was 43-2. and two. We also have mm -hmm. uh, a JV team and a sophomore team, and then we have two freshman teams because we have two junior highs. Uh, I think combined with our JV and sophomores, they were combined 95-4, and four, so we've got some pretty talented young ones mm -hmm. as well. Uh, so we can expect them back here next year. Well, that'd be nice. <laughs> we won't get a lot of these girls. We'd look forward to it. It'd be, it'd be pretty fun. Um, we went down to state and we played three matches. We played Urbandale in the first round, and then uh, Lynn Mar was a conference opponent. We played a couple times, and then West Des Moines Valley in our last match. They won all three of those in straight sets, so they didn't lose a set at the state tournament, which is kind of nice. And I think right now they're ranked like 11th in the nation, mm -hmm. so we're pretty excited. Yeah. Well, what an honor. Yeah. Um, we'd like to have them introduce. Would they like to have them introduce themselves, or yes. would you like to do so? <coughs> we've got, like I said, we've got a big senior class, a senior class, and uh, besides being great volleyball players, they're pretty good students and pretty good people, so they can probably tell you uh, real quick what their future plans are. I know a few of them. Well, that'd be are great. Kind of, they're saying, here's that. Come on. A few of them are doing next week, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see themselves tell you how much great in school you are and what your future plans are, if you know them. Okay, um, my name is Maida Suich, and I'm a senior at Cedar Falls, obviously. Um, and my future plans are to go back to school after this because I don't know what my college plans are. <laughs> I'm Lexi Peters. I'm a senior next year. I plan to um, attend St. Ambrose University in Davenport for six years, majoring in exercise science and kinesiology to become a physical therapist. Um, I'm Caitlin Smith, and I don't know where I'm going to go to school, but I'm going to double major in accounting and finance. I'm Daryl Halstein. I'm a junior, and I plan on attending the Air Force Academy. I'm Alex Johnson. I'm a senior, and I plan to go to DMAC and Aiken for two years, and then you and I to major in occupational therapy. I normally clap, I'm a junior, and I don't know if I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Curious Horse, I'm a senior, and I'm an exchange student from the Netherlands. Next year, I'm going to go back. I'm Abby Hendrickson, I'm a senior, and I'm planning on going to Sun College. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Kirsten Days, and I'm a sophomore. <laughs> I'm McKenna, and I'm a junior. I'm Emerson Green and I'm a sophomore. I'm Elaine Yates and I'm a sophomore. I'm Taylor Lynch and I'm a senior and I'm going to Illinois State for volleyball. Um, I'm Tam Mahi and I'm a senior and I'm going to UNI for volleyball. I'm Claire Gertis and I'm a senior and I'm going to South Dakota for volleyball. I'm Cynthia Wolf, I'm a senior and I'm going to UNI for basketball. I'm Grace Burke and I'm a senior and I'm going to Wichita State for volleyball. Uh -oh. Well, what a what a talented but yes congratulations to all of you and uh, for the uh, great season I know it takes a lot of effort to get to this level so thank you I'd like to present uh, you with the plaque uh, recognizing the uh, Cedar Falls 
volleyball team for their state championship. So thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Congratulations. I was saying. Ms. Henderson, Ms. Henderson, uh, what does your father do? We're going to take we're going to take a brief photo with all of you. Could could we have your attention? We'd like to get a photo if if so that, that's possible. As much as you we can. we have the tall one standing back. <laughs> All right. You're probably right, used to this, place. aren't you? Looks like it. <laughs> That's a good picture. I'll take one more. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. group ever yeah that's great uh, time for public comments um, not seeing anyone except for staff there so we'll move on uh, claims and payments uh, this is a resolution to approve the expenditures for Blackhawk County I believe mr. Veter has the information for us uh, yes Susan Deaton uh, reviewed them and she's unable to be here today but she told me that everything was in order and the amount for the county is four hundred and thirty five thousand two hundred and fifty three dollars and eighteen cent cents that's four three five two five three one eight motion for approval second have a uh, motion and a second on the resolution <coughs> is there any discussion <coughs> hearing none please answer as your name is called Leyland Yes. Little? Yes. Work? Yes. White? Yes. Magsman? Yes. Item B is resolution that the Board of Supervisors approve expenditures for a country view facility. The amount is $32,111.67, 32111 .67. Susan found them all to be in order. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in Please answer as your name is called. Little? Yes. Wart? Yes. White? Yes. Leland? Yes. Maxman? Yes. Item 5, uh, receive updates from department heads, elected officials. Morning, Kathy. Morning. Morning, Kathy. Good morning, board. Kathy Nicholas, county engineer. Good morning. Uh, all roads are open and in, in good condition this morning. Uh, just an update, Black Hawk Electric. They are doing that, the lighting upgrade out at the Longfellow shop facility for us. They started on that yesterday. We expect completion in about three or four weeks. And then uh, out on the roads, we have been working with the Union Pacific Railroad over the last week. Uh, Friday, they came in on Raymond Road in the community of Dewar and that we shut down the road so that they could replace the crossing uh, as it crosses Raymond Road through Dewar. Uh, they just finished that up uh, yesterday and then we just reopened the road uh, just a few mi minutes ago traffic should be restored back to normal and that uh, will give a much needed smoother crossing on Raymond Road there through Dewar uh, especially when we get our resurfacing complete for next uh, next summer can I answer any questions thank you Ken. thank you good morning board Dennis Coleman morning country view care center Morning, Dan. Morning. Here today, I sent a narrative to the board yesterday. I don't know if you all had a chance to review it yet, but uh, here to answer any questions you may have on it. I guess uh, you know we did have the opportunity <laughs> to um, visit the facility in Dubuque um, last Thursday. Yes. Um, I think you outlined that there's some of the similarities between the facilities. Um, and that uh, you, you're reviewing what works well for them and trying to figure out how we can um, be more effective and efficient in the services that we're providing at Country View. Um, so I don't know if any of the other board members have questions on this, but 
you know, obviously this is um, something that uh, we're very interested in, in how the facility is going to be able to operate in the future uh, financially. Um, there will be, um, you know, requirements uh, to cover the expenses that Country View is encouraging now above the income that is coming into the facility. So um, we'll, we'll be uh, continuing to look at that and we'll have to revise our this year's budget again uh, before we're um, through that. And then we'll, in our upcoming budget cycle, um, you know, we're going to have to look at uh, what the facility future looks like and if, if we continue to operate it, what will be the tax, tax asking for that. So it's obviously a big concern um, to the board here. So we want to have any updates, recommendations on how to control costs in the facility. Okay. <coughs> we have reduced our, um, reduced our labor to minimum levels um, um, to where legally we need to be so it's um, we are currently um, we have on our first shift and this is speaking of CNAs there's approximately seven and a half um, uh, residents per CNA uh, second shift it drops down to um, or excuse me it's 7.2 on the first shift, 7.7 .7 on the second shift, and then it's 20 residents per uh, per staff member during the overnights, but most of them is sleeping, so you don't need the staff as heavy. So our ICFID unit, we staff that at the levels we have to as uh, CMS rules and the feds expect us to. So. Uh, we've discussed this before. Our FMLA is a big problem out there. I shouldn't say problem, but it's uh, it's a legal benefit for them. But uh, currently, through this uh, through this year, we have 9,880 hours of FMLA, 44 active ones currently working. So that ultimately will. Um, cost over time or bringing in agency to cover those people as, as they miss time so has there been any discussion Dennis with the staff or with the management part of the staff on how to reduce that any suggestions no, it's, it's a frequent and it's um, unfortunately it's a benefit that we cannot restrict so and what really hurts us is they have these intermittent uh, FMLA claims so it might be two or three days a month a week quarter so and uh, we have to honor that so I know when Sonny Crest was here they mentioned they didn't have any they do not at have all issue. There... No. and these are um, <coughs> they in order to take the FMLA they have to have a physician approved there needs the to utilization be a physician, of a certification family system. medical leave act correct right Hmm. What's that 9,000 hours equate to dollar wise? You ever figured out, or is that pretty hard to figure? Cause you're well, it's pretty hard to figure which department they're in, <clears> but <throat> you could probably, if you're going into overtime, probably figure seven and a half an hour. So it's, it's substantial. Yeah, it is. I would just quick math in my head. I imagine that would probably be somewhere in the $75,000 range. So. So I saw two two differences. One that um, they don't use Brighton Consulting um, for their their billing. They so they've got in, an in-house person. They just <clears throat> within the last year, I think she started in April, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. and um, she is it costs less for her, and right. then she's just studying the financials day after day after day. Okay. And uh, there was one error that they caught that. She saved twenty thousand dollars, I believe it was. So, and, and I, I think we had much larger areas that we could have found with, with somebody who was taking a better look at it. So, I'd I'd like to explore bringing that back in house because I know 
others have <coughs> a lot of frustrations with Brighton and the, the slow response to questions and everything. Yeah, um, and I'm sure the <coughs> auditor's office would be more than happy with payroll because that. True. <laughs> I've heard that before too. HR too, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What uh, approximately what are we paying Brighton a year? It's usually seven to eight thousand dollars a month, so that would probably ninety to a hundred thousand dollars. Of course, there's other services, uh, ancillary services, but uh, this young lady that uh, Sunnycrest hired, she is not a CPA, but she was a controller at a uh, corporation there in Dubuque. So, and I also saw that they don't. Use nursing agency <coughs> at Sunnycrest. I know part of it is that they don't have the the FMLA culture or, or whatever you want to call it um, at Sunnycrest. But um, but part of it, I saw that they offer um, a third or second shift bonuses. Well, and, they're a union uh, facility mm -hmm. such as we are, so you without amending the contract, they can't increase the wages on it. But what they've done. Is added a shift differential of three dollars mm -hmm. an hour for professional nurses only. This mm -hmm. is not across the board, but uh, they're much in the same uh, position we are. There's a, the shortage of professional right. nurses, and so and I think you so mentioned they, that exactly. The mm -hmm. about the same position we are with the opening. Right. Um, mm -hmm. We currently have seven openings. Um, they have eight openings. They indicated. Um, and she said they're going to have a mass exodus of retirements after mm -hmm. the first of the year. So, because I know it's a, I mean, people are having shortfalls at all sorts of facilities. But I look at um, some of the things we've got going from. We've got a better benefits package than anybody else in this county can offer, and that, that maybe we'd actually be be saving money by reexamining wages and. Um, Good point. I actually, we might save money by, by paying more, by being able to attract better, more uh, professional uh, folks as we fill spots. Yep. And I'll be bringing that to the board. We just, LPNs, you just can't find them. Mm -hmm. So I will be bringing to the board to maybe replace those positions with RNs. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of LPNs that are currently working out there that are working on their RNs and would stay if mm -hmm. we had the position available. To them. Okay. That's going to be difficult anyway, I think, across the board when you look at even our hospitals here, they're paying thousands of dollars in bonuses as well and actually recruitment at our, packages. So actually at our board meeting last week, there was a couple of representatives there that work with the Unity Point mm -hmm. and they said our starting wage is comparable to theirs and I know That's our good. benefit package Mr. Chairman? is better. Uh, Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, Grant just brought to me a good point that this is not uh, an agenda item and that uh, this type of discussion and debate uh, may be in violation of the open meetings laws. So it would be better to set this as an agenda item and let these uh, discussions occur on the, uh, on the agenda. Okay. So the uh, updates um, being on the agenda, the it need to be specific well, if it, we go in depth in it? Well, um, if this is a, uh, a time for the uh, department heads to make their comments and speak to the uh, speak to the board, but it really isn't the, the appropriate time to have a discussion on these matters and to be discussing how to handle these matters. Better if it was a report type uh, comment to the, uh, to the board by Mr. Coleman. We're getting into kind of a gray area there, and there's some. Uh, it would be better if this was a separate agenda item, and then he can, he and the board can engage in any kind of discussion you want. So at this point, his, his updates fine with us is the dialogue really. Yes, the board really, really that's the problem. So. Is the dialogue and these questions of the discussion. Great. So if you want to. Okay. Well, we'll um, <laughs> we'll look at. Uh, Placing this as agenda items in the future as work sessions, uh, we need to, board needs to be informed so that uh, we're moving into the upcoming budget year and also um, looking at how we have to adjust this year's budget. We certainly need to have the uh, current information on how the facility is operating and what the cost is 
for the facility to the Blackhawk County taxpayers? I think the report we got from Mr. Coleman is sufficient, uh, would suffice each week. Like Pete said, give us the information. If we got questions, we can direct them back to him. Did you get any responses? And we're going to end this here quick. But the memo you sent to the board the other day, did you get any responses from any of the board? Well, I was just sent yesterday yeah. and uh, just a response from you, Tom. I mentioned that I'd follow up in the next few days with them with questions. As far as emails. We can uh, certainly, we've done it in the past, we could certainly put it as an agenda item every week or every other week. And if there's no um, current update, then we just bypass and move on to the next item. So that'd be a way. At least it's posted as a um, update from the director of Country View. If anybody wants to come, the public. Yeah, appreciate very much this that you provided this week. So thank you. Any other department heads? Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Uh, we move on to the minutes. Be approved for so November 14th. Second. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carried. Uh, we have the consent <coughs> agenda. This is by a single resolution. Second. Are there any uh, discussions on any of the items? If not, uh, this is a resolution. Please answer as your name is called. Schwartz? Yes. White? Yes. Leland? Yes. Little? Yes. Bagsman? Yes. Contracts and agreement, the resolution that the land lease agreement between Blackhawk County and Buddy and Linda Blanford for a three year uh, lease agreement on county owned so uh, move. vacant Sorry. lots have the parcel number. The address is 7909 Finchford Road, Janesville, Iowa. Be approved and direct chair to sign for same. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion on the resolution? Just to add the comment, that was $20 for a three year period. The lease was. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Please answer as your name is called. White. Yes. Leland? Yes. Little? Yes. Schwartz? Yes. Magsman? Yes. <coughs> uh, item A under other business is a motion that the request for purchase of capital equipment submitted by Dana Langdig, Administrative Aid 3, be approved and direct chair to sign for same as to purchase a letter opener for the Pitney Bowes and Spoken. Wash from Spokane, Washington for $4,162.50 so to be used Thanks. in the mail room for departments to open large quantities of mail pieces. Is there any discussion on this item? I don't know if it's important to note there were three bids. This was the lowest. Um, does seem expensive for a letter opener, but I guess it's <laughs> mass quantities. Uh, this is a, a motion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carried. Item B is a motion to approve Jane Amos as the representative for the Blackhawk County Board of Supervisors on the Blackhawk County Comp Compensation Board. Be approved effective November 21st, 2017. So moved. Second. A motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carried. Item C is that the personnel request for equipment operator to position, it's a full time position um, in the, uh, this should be for the uh, secondary roads, be approved as recommended by Kathy Nicholas. So second. That's correct, it is in the secondary road. Yes, we need, uh, due to resignation last week, we are anxious to fill these this spot uh, just due to the fact that we may have snow coming at any time. And we do expect someone internally to take the position, so then there will be shuffling. I will be asking again probably for another position to backfill that one. This guy quit or retired? He um, quit, he resigned. 
Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none, this is a motion. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carried. Um, any reports from board members? I'll be traveling to Dubuque tomorrow to visit Sunny Crest. So, anybody that was there thought of a, another question that they came up with afterwards that they that they want answered. I know sometimes you go to something you think of something later. I'll be there tomorrow afternoon. Um, and then just update on the the Crushed Coalition. We'll be screening, um, doing a pre-screening of a film uh, called Left Behind. Uh, this afternoon uh, that we'll be planning a public screening out for the public and it's just kind of um, documenting the opioid um, epidemic uh, nationwide and so be looking forward to putting on that public event um, uh, also mentioned that uh, we are experimenting with having our board meetings uh, put on YouTube so um, we're going to be working on that in the future that you could uh, access viewing the board meetings on YouTube. Anything else? Motion to adjourn. Second. The motion and second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you.